Well, it's finally arrived from eBay uh, and from clansman-radio.co.uk uh, all the way to northern Spain. My Clansman USB kit. Not an awful lot in the bag, but uh, very difficult to get hold of. Uh, a little switch. Uh, of course, the magic component is the the little uh, chip. Where is it? The chip uh, that uh, generates the 1.7 meg signal to uh, squeeze into the uh, the clansman, so that you get uh, lower sideband. So I've got all the details on the screen. Uh, the wires in the bag. So uh, I'll start wiring it up and uh, see what uh, we'll see how it goes shall we okay just started wiring the switch that's a more or less completed now got the uh, put the chip and the rest of the bits in the uh, halfway down the the line uh, according to the old uh, pc it looks like it's uh, more or less the same yeah, more or less the same. I've uh, cut the pins back so that the profile's really low, so hopefully it won't touch anything on the back there, as recommended by the instructions. Unfortunately, uh, I didn't get a grey wire, so I've got my own grey wire in there. Still, never mind. Okay, onward and upward. We'll get the rest of it done now. Okay, just finished the loom. I think it corresponds to what's on the screen there. Uh, so, all insulated at the back. The module there. And the wires there. Okay, so now let's uh, plug it in. <laughs> Not exactly plug and play, but we'll, we'll put it into the, the radio now. See how we get on. Okay, here's the uh, exposed radio. After removing the 24 uh, hex bolts, we get this. And uh, that's the, the turret that we have to open up. There's four screws. Uh, one th uh, there, one there, uh, two the other side, and of course there's one uh, up here that's being held on there. So there's one screw, one screw there. Okay, and uh, I drilled a hole earlier, just there. So it seems to be okay. Uh, well, let's try and. Uh, Install our switch mechanism then. See how we go. Okay, we managed to get that uh, cable loom installed okay, and uh, the wires are threaded through uh, via the power supply. And uh, up the top there so we just have to solder that in now the only tricky part about this turret there's only five screws holding it in you know one in each corner and uh, one at the top there but when you lift and of course there's a cable loom you have to undo the the, uh, the wire that holds the cable loom in where is it just just down there that one there when you lift the turret up uh, it disengages from the knob on the front and when you put it back in again, you might have to jiggle the the band switch knob just just a little bit. Try not to move it uh, radically away from the position you left it in. And when you start the process, remember uh, where you leave the band switch in. In my my example here, or in my case, I've uh, left the band switch in horizontal like that. So. Uh, that's what I always do. I always leave it in that position. And that way it'll all go back together again, hopefully. 
but now we just have to sort these wires out, put them on the main board, and then we can start testing it. Okay, all wired up. We hope. <laughs> Uh, no, I just put it all back together again. Well, I put it back together lightly with two screws just to see if it's okay. 